number one is who we are. You know, and I've talked about it on several shows. Um, we were born into this calcified scenario um, called mortality, where prior to us, those that would rule over the place or see the need to rule over have already put a calcification system in place that we happen to be subjected to. Those subjected to, we are not without freedom. Many are called, but few are chosen. Not everyone is going to drink their water, especially on this go-round. We've probably lived many, many lifetimes to finally get to the point where we awaken. There will only be a few. There won't be many. Um, Most that drink, drink to heal. Right? That's the excitement of it all, healing. So the intrigue for most that drink is healing. In other words, going from a calcified or an ill state to a wellness state. So those that you find that drink for a little while and then don't drink anymore, which I know many, they say, well, I didn't see any results. Because healing is very carnal. It's very mortal. It's very flesh-like. It's cerebral thinking. It's a conscious thought. One that would be seeking something. Oh, that rash I had is gone. It must be working. Or my skin looks better now. (laughs) Or my eyes are clear. They used to be bloodshot red all the time, and now they're clear. This is really working. Healing is the low man on the totem pole. For those that are called by the Spirit, we're into wellness. The root word being well. Well is the water that is contained within the cistern. The cistern is the container designed to hold the water, which is your body. I've talked about it before. We all know, scientifically and or otherwise, that man's makeup is 75 to 98% water. It's contained on a continuous basis by this waterproof vessel that we recognize in this scenario as the cistern. In it is a well, a well of water. Anytime you add the part of the word ness, N-E-S-S, to a word, it suggests involvement with or relationship with continually. For example, happy. Happy is what some could say that they are. Happiness would be an involvement with or relationship with happy. Aware. Awareness, conscious is what you are. Consciousness is what you're in a relationship with. Well is the water. Wellness is what we are actively involved with, what we have a relationship with. I think it was Brother Yusef said that when someone asks, how am I? I am well. Can you dig it? It's an identity. I dig it. I am well. I 
am wellness on display. I'm in a relationship with the water, whether healing or not. When I don't feel so good, I'm into wellness. It's not an option for me to turn away from the water that formed me. Can you dig that? Not everyone is called to this level of awareness or consciousness or life. You know, I saw the post on my page. I thought it was entertaining. And watching the brothers, my younger brothers, my beautiful uh, animated, amped up, on fire brothers, Brother Enoch, Brother Wiley, and a few others engaged with the brother's name was Shane. I actually liked Shane because he doesn't drink his water. When you listen long enough to someone that would debate the water, they won't have anywhere to take you. In other words, if someone that doesn't drink their water says, I think that piss drinking is a, is a piss is a waste product. That's all, that, and that's the da, 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 that's the punchline. There's never a destination after that. In other words, hey man, don't drink your piss. Do this. They don't have that. You follow? So it's never a destination for someone that doesn't drink. So at best, their entertainment. You're going to get more resistance from people that say, I love you. You're going to get more resistance from your own family members than you would ever get on an Internet. My family right. says, don't talk to me about piss drinking, so I won't. Don't right. talk to me when you are ill. They're in a relationship with illness. We're in a relationship with wellness. Mm -hmm. Let the I, games I begin. Question. I, okay. I, I have a question. I have a question for you. Why is it that when you, they, when people see the results, and mm -hmm. they see the results happening in your life, mm -hmm. why is it that they still say, you know, I can't do it. It's not for me. I'm not the one for this. And then you're talking about them again? It's like our attention is on them. If Let me ask you a question. Okay. If you have the value and someone else doesn't have the value, why is the one of no value absorbing your attention? You already know the answer to that. Mm -hmm. you got to be called to this. See, this is how cults get started. You know, folks wanting somebody to do what they do because that's what they want them to do. Let, let me tell you this. When we start opening our eyes and us of the water claim to be those that are aware, then at some point, awareness should be about you, yourself, what you recognize about yourself. Sure, we can start off with, hey, man, I see the sky. I see the food. I see the 80% obesity rate, I see these black folks, and y'all keep saying we, um, in the book, the Jesus character said, who is my mother? Who is my brother? These are not my brothers. These are not my sisters. These are not my people. These women that are getting, those are not my women. I'm not responsible for them. We have to own up to what's actually happening. If you look in the book, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 3, it says, I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave unto their fathers. I'm going to cause it. 
See, you can't outrun the intention of the universe. See, when you talk about these women that are missing, why did I say it? Because I see it in my vision. There are some amongst you with vision. And he whose words come to pass, you know, might want to check with him. She doesn't need you anymore. She says, I don't need no man. I have a video on YouTube that says a woman's hair is her Wi-Fi. But she chooses to cover it up. She don't want to follow you. She doesn't want to help no more. She wants to be independent. To be independent means to be separated or freed from something to something else. And my suggestion is that she's freed from you, black man. Mm. We come from what we call soul music. Now black people are the only ones with diss tracks, beefs, because the taskmasters want you melanated creatures to stay lost. See, what we're doing is fine, is found. We found who we are. They can't do nothing with us. Just keep drinking. The power of all of those that create all things lives inside of you, and we're tapped into it. Now we can watch. Many are going to die. Not only that, famine is upon this place. You're going to watch the food supply dry up. You'll watch the maggots crawling in the stores. They'll shut the stores down. You'll watch panic. You'll watch betrayal like you've never seen before. You'll watch women and men cook their children on the streets and eat them. You will watch what starvation will do. You will watch crime like you've never seen before. Then what? Looking for someone to save us? Who? When you say this isn't news that these women are missing, their families didn't tell you they were missing because it's a certain type that's going to be missing. And when we wake up and own up to the truth, everybody's not going to be missing. I hope you all hear me. We in this right now. This ain't what's coming. We in it right now. You mentioned earlier today that Trump is a distraction. Of course he is. But we still talk about voting because we still want to believe that filling out a form, submitting it to the invisible man, and then staring at the screen is going to make some type of change to satisfy you. If there is a God, I would assume that he's more intelligent than that. He or she or they would say, I'm talking to you. Who are you in the midst of all of it right now? I'd rather you be hot. I'd rather you be cold. Because if you look warm, I'm going to spit you out. You women that think you don't need no man and you think you ain't here to serve, and you think that's uh, a belittling statement, it's an insult to you, good luck. Because y'all going to be sick. Y'all listening to me talk, y'all hearing about this water, and you still won't drink, you're going to be sick. And there ain't going to be no medication that's going to save you. The book says it'd be better that you never heard than to hear and not do. It would have been better that you were sitting in front of the TV set smoking weed and drinking Hennessy watching Gilligan's Island than to hear me say this and not hear what I said. There's messengers in this place at the same time all this chaos is going on. There's light in this dark tunnel right amongst us. 
Let he that have an ear to hear, let him hear. That's where we are, brothers and sisters. That's right. That's this right. symposium, that's right. That's right. I'm compelled to do it. Look, I'm a popular dude. I, I know a lot of folks. I know how to make money. I'm pretty famous. I got famous friends. <laughs> you dig? I'm, I'm, I'm healthy. I'm smart. Y- y'all see how I live? I live in a neat facility. Simi, when you came to my house, you said it's easier to get to Donald Trump than it is to get to you. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> I'm in my mid-50s. I- I'm an I'm a, I'm a African-American man, if that's what they call it, a black man, a melanated man, with absolutely no debt. I owe no man anything. So if I wanted to, Living in Las Vegas, I could just put on a sequence jacket and go <laughs> 10 minutes down the road. I don't even have to take an instrument. Somebody already is there with an instrument, and I could sit there and play and sing and catch chicks and make money if that's what I wanted to do. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, uh, but when you say, you mean to tell me, I'm almost done, brother. Okay, go ahead. If I choose to have a piss drinking party, knowing, hey man, you know that uh, folks may not buy your record hearing you talk like that. You know they're going to call you crazy, Anthony King. You know that they're going to turn their back on you. And those people that smile in your face and say, hey, man, you the, they won't talk to you no more. You know this thing might cost you your life. You, you willing to do this? Absolutely. And to that, no man take my life. You mortals can't touch nothing. I'm beyond you. You're going to hear me, and you're going to know who I am in the midst of you. Because my word is going to top everything you do. We are the light of the world. We are purpose. We don't have to convince nobody to do nothing. The universe is on our side. (laughs) Darkness will be the greatest advocate for the light. As it gets darker, they will run to you, Brother Enoch. They will run to you, Brother Simi. They will run to you, Brother Ali. They will run to you, Brother Yusef. They will run to you and say, what must I do to get these boils off my body? How do I stop the worms from eating me from the inside out? What do I do now? Did you hear about such and such as baby? Their baby, their kids are sick. Because you can't feed them that stuff y'all calling food. You are going to recognize the water of life in you one way or the other. 